there's a lot of problems that we are just not designed to care about as human beings. Think about global warming. Can we get people to wake up in the morning and care about global warming? Very tough, very tough. Think about all the elements long in the future, would happen to other people first, we don't see it progressing, we don't see anybody suffering, and anything we would do is a drop in the bucket. Each of those forces separately cause us to be apathic, and you put them together, they all combine in global warming. So can we get people to wake up in the morning and feel energized about doing something about the environment? Very unlikely. You know, maybe a couple of fanatics here and there, but for the majority, it's going to be incredibly hard. But can we use reward substitution? Can we use other things from the broad range of human motivation and get people to behave as if they care about global warming? I think one example for that is the Toyota Prius. My own uh, informal data analysis is that when I drive around and I see people in Toyota Priuses, they look to me like they smile more than other people. Right? And I think for good reason, because they drive in the Toyota Prius and they say, look at me, I'm a wonderful human being. <laughs> and not only am I a wonderful human being, other people can recognize it and can see that I'm a wonderful human being because my car looks so different. Right? What about other things like the temperature in our house or the boiler that we use or the um, other things that we have in terms of insulation in our attic? One of those things don't allow us to express something like our pride or our ego. But what if we started doing it? What if we thought seriously about reward substitution and we say people don't care naturally about all kinds of things. Let's link those to other things like ego, like pride, that would get people to behave as if they care.